Welcome to your PSP home workout. My name is Isabel and this video is brought to you by myself and Haley, instructors here at 22 Wing North Bay. For this workout, you'll need some equipment that you can find at home, such as a chair, a mat, plastic buckets, a backpack, or any heavy objects that can serve as weights, if you don't have weights at home, as well as something to pull from, such as a staircase rail or a door frame. Before you start the workout, make sure you perform a 5-7 to seven minute warm up to get your body ready and perform a 5-7 to seven minute cool down at the end with some stretches. Ready to get moving? Chest to floor push-ups are full range, so you go all the way down until your chest touches the ground and push back to a plank position. Notice the body is tight and the elbows are pointing back, not flared out. You can modify these by going down on your knees, but make sure you maintain that full range, touching the chest to the ground every rep and maintaining your body's position. Another way to modify these is to use a chair, which I'm sure you have at home, so this time the chest touches the chair. Overhead lunges. So for this one, you can use any relatively heavy objects that you have at home. Could be a backpack filled with objects, a cooler, case of beers, be creative. Um, you can perform these with either one or two arms, depending on your mobility. You wanna maintain your back and arm or arms fully straight, elbows locked out, and place your feet so that the front knee is right above the ankle and the back knee touches the ground at the lowest point. If mobility is really an issue, you can just take a broomstick and take a wider grip to perform this exercise. V-ups. So this is a combination of a sit-up and a leg raise, and it may take a little bit of practice to get the right timing. Uh, you can modify these by bending the knees and reaching out to the sides instead, making sure your low back stays in contact with the ground at all times. Inverted rows or pull-ups for advanced option. You can do these with straight legs or bent legs to modify. You may have to be a little creative for these as well. Uh, you can use any low bar like a staircase rail, um, a suspension trainer if you have one, a sturdy tree branch, um, of course a pull-up bar if you have one at home, or be even more creative and use a door frame, working on your grip as well. Final exercise deadlifts. This is a great exercise to strengthen the posterior chain. Keep your core tight and engage your lats to protect your back. Look at a point about a meter in front of you to keep your neck neutral and hinge at the hips to load the posterior chain, keeping your shins as vertical as possible. If you don't have heavy sandbags or heavy dumbbells, um, get creative. We just took two buckets and filled them up with water. Anything goes. Scratch the excuses, get active. <laughs> 